Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to introduce the new search and model functionality, which is available in Tecla Structures version 2019i. So when you open up that version in the bottom left hand corner, you'll see this new search and model portion down here. If you have your tooltips on, you can hover over that and it will give you information about what you can search for and which wildcards can be used. And then we have two search options, one where you can search in the entire model or where you can just search within a specific selection inside the model. So to show you how those work, let me just go ahead and change my transparency. That way just the things that are selected will be illuminated. And then here what I can do is I can just simply begin typing for whatever I want to search for. So I'll just type in beam and hit enter. That will then search the entire model and highlight all of the beams for me. I can also do the same for columns as an example, and there easily I can see all of the columns. And now what's selected I can use to run reports or to assign user-defined attributes or whatever I need to do within the model. You'll notice in the model that I have a good bit of concrete, so let's say we want to identify that. So let's go ahead and type in concrete and hit enter. And you can see that I highlight some of the concrete but not all. And this is where we can begin using wildcards. So let's say that I want to find all the pieces whose name begins with concrete, and then I don't really care what it says after that. I'll just go ahead and add an asterisk, hit enter, and then now all of the concrete will be illuminated in the model for me, regardless of what it says after concrete in the name. So we can also get more specific if we want to search just for an individual piece mark. So let's go ahead and identify a specific assembly. So I'll just go ahead and type that in and hit enter. And then you can see those two objects illuminated for me. And then I can do whatever I need to do with those two assemblies. We also have the ability to search for a GUID. So if you're using an MIS system, for example, and you get a report back that a certain GUID had an error, or if you're coming into our log files, for example, here in the session history, and as you're looking along, you find that there are some solid errors, it will give you a GUID listed here. You can just copy and paste that GUID here into the search functionality, hit enter, and then it will highlight that for you. Once it's highlighted in the model, you can then use the basic Tecla commands where you can just come in and zoom to selected and more easily find that piece in a larger model than the current one that we're looking at. So you can search for broad things like beam or column or a specific assembly mark or even by GUID. So everything that we've been showing so far is just searching the entire model. So let's go ahead and take a look how the search and selection feature works. So for to do that, I'll go ahead and open up the phase manager and I'm gonna highlight phase three. And then if I zoom in here, now what I can do is just begin typing of the things that I want to find, but instead of searching from the entire model, I'm going to choose the search and selection. So let's say that we want to find all of the objects who have A500 grade, and I don't really care if it's grade B or whatever it is, I just want to find all the objects who have grade A500 and then something after that. So instead of hitting enter or search and model, I'm just going to choose search and selection. And now it's just going to isolate those objects from my original selection there that are in the model. So one last example here. Let's go ahead and highlight everything again that's in phase three. And let's say this time just within that selection, we want to find all of the plates. I'll go ahead and type that in, hit search and selection. And now just those plates will be isolated for me to use and manipulate as needed. So as mentioned, this new search and model functionality is available in Tecla Structures version 2019i. As always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.